What's going on everyone? Back again with another video. It's been a couple weeks since I posted any uh, full length videos. I've been just posting shorts and stuff like that. I've been super busy. Um, but today I was at Costco and um, I've been seeing people on YouTube opening these up. Um, and for some reason, my Costco is always the last one to get any of the uh, more uh, new products that they have. Um, I live in New England. I don't know if it has anything to do with it, but um, yeah, it's been a couple of weeks, maybe even a month that I've seen people opening these tins. And um, from what I saw, they have Evolving Skies, Brilliant Stars, and Fusion Strikes. So I won't bore you with me cracking these open. Um, I'll get right to it and then I'll be right back. Let's go. All right, guys. So I opened five out of the six tins. Um, I left this one sealed so that way I can show you guys what's in here. So it looks like each tin has four different artworks on each side. So um, if you see them in Costco, don't be fooled in thinking that there's different variations of these tins. It's the same tins. It just has different artwork depending on how they packaged it. But we'll open this one. So it's the exact same packs that I was saying. Fusion Strike, Evolving Skies, and uh, Brilliant Stars. And you get a little coin as well. We've got Fusion Strike, which I've already separated the packs right there brilliant stars and evolving skies and we have our little coin this one is aurora not a coin collector at all so let's get tossed right into the garbage so let's see if we can get some luck this is a really really solid product this was 28 dollars um essentially for nine packs since there's three packs in each 10 and each package has three tens um and of some of the best sword and shield sets to be honest um so let's see if we can have any luck we'll start with fusion strike pack number one i've uh, pulled the alt art gengar um and one of the alt art muse well white code card so no need to do the pack trick there is no subset in Fusion Strike, so if we get the white code, that means we don't even get a hollow, which is okay. First pack, pack number two. Um, especially because, you know, Sword and Shield is, you know, some stuff is still in print. Um, look, a lot of the newer sets are probably gonna get reprints, um, but we're heading into Scarlet and Violet, um, second set, and, uh, you know, pretty soon these, these packs are gonna be harder to find. Um, as they stop doing reprints and um, you don't find this stuff in stores anymore. I don't know how long it's going to take for that to happen, but uh, I'm just saying, wow, three white code cards. Not a, a good start. Wow. It's more like Fusion Strikeout <laughs> so far. All right. Can we get our first black code? Yes, we can. One, two, three, four to the front. Got the Elite Energy, Skaters Park, Togodomaru, Ninetales, Meowth, Meryl. Come on. Come on, Skitty Reverse and Toxtricity, Regular Hollow. All right. Second to last pack of Fusion Strike. Hope you guys are doing good. If you enjoy the content, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. If I'm not uploading uh, videos, I'm at least doing shorts every other day. Fire Energy, Cross Switcher, Garbador, Marsh Stomp. Come on, come on, Cleft Key, Trubbish, Total Dial. Really like this artwork. Stantler Reverse and Swampert Hollow. It's just a regular hollow, but I actually like this card. All right. Last pack of Fusion Strike. I'm honestly opening these packs. Least favorite to my favorite. Um, can we get a black code? No, we cannot. So go right through it. Zero Aura. Reverse. All right, so we have Fusion Strike and Evolving Skies, and I actually would rather open Brilliant Stars over Evolving Skies any day of the week. Um, it's a lot more fun, higher probability that you'll actually pull something with it having a trainer gallery. Another white code, wow. 
So far, these Costco tins are putting my lights out. It's okay. Like I said, $28 per pack or package, I should say. So about uh, $56 all in. Wow, another white code. Um, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I've opened a ton of Evolving Skies. Never a booster box, but a ton of packs. And I've never, ever pulled anything significant. Um, if the packs happen to be in a certain product that I'm opening, great. I'll, uh, I'll definitely open it and hope to get something. But if not, I'm not going out of my way to get these packs. I think I saw something in this one. Hopefully, it's not just a regular V. This would be the hit, so... It, uh, it looks really clean in the back. So we have our energy. Come on. Hitmonchan, Fletching, Tentacool, Pikachu, C Dot, Tropius Reverse, and Golurk V. I jinxed myself. I said, please don't be a regular V, and that's exactly what we got. Three more packs of Evolving Skies. All right, and uh, this is the product, honestly, even if you don't want to open it, you can keep it sealed and uh, definitely be a cool little collection piece. Any exclusive uh, items to like particular stores, like sometimes GameStop has exclusive items, Costco, Sam's Club. It's always cool to have unique things um, in your collection. That's just me. Wow, another white code. Oh man. Yep, nothing there. We're going to need Brilliant Stars to save the day. Last pack of Evolving Skies. All I can hope for is that we get something. And it's a black coat, so that's a good start. Please don't be a V-card or a regular holo. Uh, okay. Water Energy. Vigoroth. Lombre. Fuchinda. Dwebble. Mareep, Drowsy, Scraggy, Phoebus, Shopping Center, Reverse, and, okay, a Rainbow Rare Lycanroc VMAX. It's, I'll take it. Hey, it's better than a regular V-card. I'll take it. Especially since they did away with the uh, Rainbow Rares for Scarlet and Violet. They are all done. To be honest, I wasn't really a huge fan. There's only a handful of cards that were rainbow rares that I actually liked. Let's close it out strong. Come on, Brilliant Stars. I need you. I need you. White codes are okay because we can still get a trainer gallery. Not in this pack, though. What? Wait, what? White code. A V hit. Okay, that's kind of weird, but I'll take it. So I'm going to assume white codes in this product have the hits, I guess. I don't know. If that's the case, I hope all these packs have a white code card. Oh, another white code. Let's check. Let's test this theory. One, two, three, four to the front. Hey, I saw something. Hey, what the heck is going on? Primp up. Sharon's Care. Come on. Nose Pass. The Dene. Flygon Reverse. And. Hey, let's go. Waifu Boys, where you at? Marnie's Pride. I've actually pulled this card a handful of times. I graded two of them. They both got 10s. This is a very, uh, very strong candidate for a 10. Really dope card. Okay, Brilliant Stars, so already, I think we're only like two or three packs in and we got the uh, the best pulls so far. So Brilliant Stars going toe-to-toe -to -toe against Evolving Skies and Fusion Strike. I think Brilliant Stars gonna get the win on that one. Another white code. One, two, three, four to the front. Ooh, there's something else in this, okay. Fighting Energy, Fracture, Dust Clops, Starmie. Look at the Chimchar. Chilling with the pineapple. Okay. Bow Toy. Snow Runt. Hey! 
Zach Rom trainer gallery sick card. Let's see if this could be a oh, it's a double banger. I see something back there. Behind the Zach Rom, we have Drakovich V. Double banger. Let's go. Brilliant Stars is crushing it right now. Which is why I'm opening it last. It's one of my favorite sets of Sword and Shield. I would say for pure nostalgia reasons, Celebrations is my favorite Sword and Shield set. Um, but as far as um, everything else, Brilliant Stars for sure. Definitely is, uh, you know, my favorite Sword and Shield. A lot of people have uh, Crown Zenith up there. Crown Zenith is cool, but uh, I don't think it, it could compete with uh, Brilliant Stars. Sigalif, Pachirisu, Choice Belt. That was another white code for this pack. So um, let's see. Farfetched, Execute. It could be a regular hollow though. Grimer, Clefairy, Burmy Reverse, and Infernape Hollow. There we go. I called it. So it looks like for whatever reason, this must be a reprint. The white code means you have a hit, and every pack so far has had a white code, which is crazy. Another white code. These tins might be broken, guys. I think they messed up. Oh, what the heck? This card's like stuck. Oh, three of them. What the? Okay. A little sticky there. Uh, okay. Four to the front. I messed that up. Weevil. Energy. Freshwater set. Cafe Master. We got the Chimchar again. Got Baltoy. Snow Runt. Flygon Reverse, and it's the Raptor Non-Hollow. That is confusing as heck. I said, hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. We've got a Non-Hollow. All the codes have been white. All the codes have been white. And we've been getting hits out of every single pack except for that last one, which was a Non-Hollow Rare. So now, somebody definitely made a mistake. Yep, all white codes. That's very strange. So we've got the last pack here. Can we get anything? And even if we do, look at this card. This would be the rare, whether it's a hollow, non-hollow, or alt art. It's already got some uh, some damage. Wow, that's sad. Alrighty, so we've got the Energy, Weevil, Fracture, Team Yells Cheer, Riolu, Starly, Spirit Tomb, Purloin, Magmortar, Reverse, and nothing behind that. I'm glad this wasn't like a Charizard altar. I would have been so upset with how damaged this card is. Um, but that's going to be it for this video, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next one. Peace.